What's going on, everybody? It is day number six in the countdown to Black Ops. What's going on, everybody? Got a game of Search and Destroy here on Favela in Modern Warfare 2. And uh, I'm going to play this game only use me blade style. I am just going to knife only. And uh, no commando. Check that out. No commando. So while I'm doing that, um, ironically enough, I'm going to talk about a weapon <laughs> other than a knife. I'm going to talk about the LMGs because that is the last set of weapons that I've not talked about. The weapons list as a car blows its horn while it rides by. The weapons list for the light machine guns are as follows. The RPK, which is a variation of the AK-47. It's uh, If you look at this weapon, it looks just like the AK-47, except it's a lot larger and has a much longer barrel. I know, that's what she said. And it's a, it's a 40 round magazine with a bipod. Uh, it's probably going to be one I use quite a bit. Um, I really like the AK-47 a lot. It looks like it's going to be... Uh, the COD 4 style of AK-47 in this game and the RPK looks like just an extended magazine version of the AK-47. We'll have to see how it actually handles but I got a feeling I may use this one and I don't really use light machine guns very often. Uh, I did like the RPD in both Call of Duty 4 and in Modern Warfare 2 so uh, we'll have to see how the RPK handles. Uh, next one on the list is the M60. The M60 is back. It is basically the Call of Duty 4 version, except from what I've been told, the bipod will be folded down in this one uh, instead of having the bipod extended, which I really don't think it matters either way. Other, I think it's just a visual thing. Uh, I don't think it affects the way the gun actually handles. However, in World at War, the bipod was actually a useful attachment on the LMGs. Uh, you would actually have to unlock the bipod by getting kills and you could actually mount the light machine gun on a wall and use it like a stationary mounted machine gun but I don't think they'll be bringing that feature back uh, for black ops but you never know the bipod may or may not affect the way the light machine gun actually operates and it looks like the rear sight is going to be changed on this version of the M60. In, in Call of Duty 4, the M60, it was a great weapon, but if you used iron sights, like if you put a grip on it and had to use the iron sights, the iron sights was so horrible. Um, actually, in Vietnam, soldiers used to take a hacksaw blade and they would cut off the rear sight instead of having this large rectangular piece of metal jutting up that you had to peep through. It was just easier for them to cut off the rear sight and actually use the front sight only. It would be interesting to have a uh, historically accurate type of scenario with the sights but I don't think we definitely want to run around in a video game with the rear sights cut off with a hacksaw blade so we are gonna have some different iron sights on the M60 and the picture that I saw uh, it looked a lot like the FAMAS the, the rear sights on the FAMAS and if that's the case um, probably going to be pretty easy to use. You'll be able to put a grip on this thing, I would imagine, and uh, you'll be able to do some damage with it. I may even give it a try myself, even though I am not an LMG guy. Uh, hopefully, it will be a little easier to use that way. The biggest reason I don't use LMGs is because of the weight. It, it makes your character extremely slow and sluggish, and uh, just the movement of the gun is very slow. And, uh, you know, Aside from the M60, the, the rest of the weapons in the LMG class are actually very, very lightweight. They're, they're based on assault rifle designs, so we may actually get a little lighter movement from the characters when they're using these weapons. And uh, if that's the case, I look forward to it and welcome it. But uh, the next weapon on the list is, uh, is uh, another assault rifle type of weapon. It is the HK-21. And it is a uh, German-made weapon based on the G3 assault rifle. And if you look at a picture of it, you can definitely see the resemblance to a G3. And uh, I imagine it's basically the same frame, but uh, you just got a 30-round magazine attached to it. And uh, if, it, if it handles more like an assault rifle, I think more people might actually use it. But uh, if it, here again, if it makes your character extremely sluggish, it may be a weapon you want to pass on, it's hard to say. 
And we have one final weapon on the light machine gun list. And that is the Stoner 63. It is also known as the XM22E1. And it was actually created by the same man that designed the AR-15 and the M16 assault rifle, Eugene Stoner. And uh, if you look at this weapon, it really does resemble an M16 on steroids. Uh, it, here again, it goes back to the same uh, design that a lot of the LMGs in this game are based off of assault rifles. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how this weapon handles as well. Uh, this weapon was actually in limited use in Vietnam. The U.S. Navy SEALs were actually some of the first uh, people to get their hands on it. But the one thing about Black Ops operatives, they got experimental weapons before they went into production. So that is why the Stoner 63 is going to be used in this game. Um, this weapon, it, it could be used in a variation of, of formats. It could be a belt-fed machine gun, a box, or it could have a magazine just like an assault rifle. So I'm not sure exactly what we'll get in this game. Uh, they have not really released much information on what the game version of this will be like. Uh, it, this may be one of the weapons that is classified. You may have to unlock all the other weapons in that class in order to purchase this weapon. So we will just have to wait and see what the situation is on the Stoner 63. And that is going to do it for the list of LMGs. Not a very big list. Only four weapons in the, in the LMG class. And uh, that gives us a little extra time. I wanted to talk about two things that I did not mention before. And that is the two exclusive weapons that you can only get out of a care package. And uh, that's going to be a little unique thing on the care package for Black Ops. It's not going to just be kill streaks or ammo. You can actually get weapons out of the care package. And uh, there's only two of them. The first one being the Death Machine, which the Death Machine, as appropriately named, is a minigun or a chain gun. And it's going to be a belt-fed uh, 499 round weapon of doom I believe it's gonna mow things down I mean if you get out in front of this thing you're gonna have a bad day but I imagine that the offset to that is your character is going to move at a snail's pace because there's no way you can be mobile while uh, running around with this thing the next weapon though is one I believe you can be pretty pretty mobile with and that is the Grim Reaper and it is a semi-automatic launcher that has uh, four rounds in it. So it's going to be like running around with a thumper on steroids, you know. This thing, uh, you can just blast people with a rocket right in the face. And uh, the only good thing is you can't resupply it after you've already shot your four shots. So if you do get that, you want to make them count and be able to get the most out of them that you can. But those are probably going to be two extremely overpowered items but they're going to probably be very you know the odds are going to be very slim at getting them out of a care package the final thing i wanted to mention i watched a video yesterday that uh you can easily go check out it's it's a fully legit licensed video so you don't have to worry about it being taken down it is an interview with treyarch game developer david vandahar on gamespot Dot com and I'm gonna put a link to that below so you guys should definitely go check that out it's about an hour long video but he's gonna run through a lot of the multiplayer gonna play some full games of uh, some of the wager mode matches and uh, I think you guys would really enjoy it I also put this link up on Facebook uh, yesterday but uh, be sure to check that link out you won't be sorry it's a really entertaining video with a lot of information and that's it, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow with another video in the countdown. Have a fantastic day, everybody.